Okay, so this is going to be the setup for the electrolysis, the Faraday and Avogadro's number. Um, so what I have measured out already is 50 milliliters of um, sulfuric acid in this graduated cylinder here. I also have 100 milliliters of water in uh, another graduated cylinder. So I'm gonna put that into our beaker. And then I'm going to carefully put in the acid So we have this dilute solution of sulfuric acid now. Uh, I'm going to stir that up a little bit. And then I'm going to insert uh, a stripped wire into our gas measuring tube. So we have kind of a makeshift gas measuring tube. It is a burette. We're going to use it upside down um, as our gas measuring tube. It's not gonna be perfect, um, but it will work to collect the gas, that hydrogen gas that you're going to make. So I think that's good. So I have the stripped wire here, so I'm going to uh, fit it into my burette, and then I'm going to lower that into the beaker. Okay, so that burette, that wire is inserted into, into our burette, and then we're going to, we lower that into our dilute um, sulfuric acid. And then what I want to do is I want to fill our burette with this solution, this acid solution. So I'm going to use this bulb and the burette um, to full, fill that up. So I don't want that above the 50 line here, so I'm going to let a little bit of this solution back out of the burette. And again, this is not gonna be completely accurate because we are using a burette that's upside down rather than an actual gas measuring tube. Um, but there we've pulled the solution up into our burette. Um, now we want to place a piece of copper wire or copper into our beaker. So I'm gonna clamp that here. So I have my piece of copper here. I'm just going to insert that into our solution. Um, so we can record the initial volume on your report sheet. So our initial volume here, uh, I have it exactly at the 50 mark. So we're going to say that our initial volume is exactly 50.0 milliliters. Uh, and now we're going to turn the power source on. We want to make sure that the amps are running at, at about 0.4, so we may have to adjust it a little bit. And then we'll let this run and collect the hydrogen gas uh, for about 10 minutes. We have um, a thermometer in there. We also have our burette that is filled up with that dilute solution of sulfuric acid. We have a stripped wire that's inserted into the burette. And then we also have a piece of copper that is in that um, beaker of solution. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on and we're going to time 10 minutes uh, and you'll see that the hydrogen gas is going to start collecting um, into our tube. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust this to about 0.4. Hey Siri, start a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. Okay, so now our amps are adjusted to 0.4, and hopefully you can see the bubbles that are starting to collect in our burette. That is the hydrogen gas. So we'll let this run for 10 minutes.
Okay, so our 10 minutes is up. So we have a couple of measurements that we want to make. Um, so I've turned off our power, our power source here and we're going to first measure the temperature of our solution. Um, so I have a thermometer in our solution to do that with. Okay, so the temperature of our solution here is 27.1 degrees Celsius. 27 degrees, 27.1 degrees Celsius. And then we also need to have the barometric pressure in the lab. So I have a barometer here uh, and that barometric pressure um, is 745 millimeters of mercury, 745 millimeters of mercury. Um, we also want, I'm gonna move our thermometer out of the way. We also want to measure the height of the water in our column. Um, so this is gonna be a little bit tricky um, because it is in that beaker, um, but we're just gonna do the best that we can. Um, so I'm gonna start it so that it's kind of even with my burette. And then I also want to, um, I'm gonna do it with a ruler and that should be in millimeters. We want that to have units of millimeters. Okay, so the height of our water and the water column is going to be 20, uh, this should be in milli, millimeters. Um, so it's gonna be 276, 276 millimeters, 276. Um, you are going to look up the vapor pressure of water at our temperature of our solution here. Um, so you, you can do that on page 224. Um, <clears throat> I think that we have all of the information that we need to calculate um, our values. So the Faraday value as well as Avogadro's number. Oh, we need the final volume. Uh, sorry, that's pretty important. So we need the final volume in our burette. That's going to be... 17.3 milliliters, 17.3 milliliters. Now we should have everything um, that we need to calculate um, the experimental value of the Faraday as well as Avogadro's number. Um, so you can see that we have collected hydrogen in our tube, so that was that liquid was all the way to that 50 mark and now it's down close to that 17 mark there. Um, so all this space here is filled with hydrogen gas. So hydrogen gas is flammable so you would want to be very careful with this. No open flames, no matches, no anything like that.